Hello, and welcome back again. Recently, we played through all of the Sonic the Hedgehog Genesis games, which are considered to be, you know, the best games on that platform. But today I'm very excited because while those games are very good, certainly, today we're going to start playing my favorite Genesis game, one of my favorite games of all time, and that is Gunstar Heroes. Gunstar Heroes is a 1993 uh, platforming game made by Treasure. When I was just a kid, there was a boy who lived down the street from us, and he had a Genesis, and he had a copy of Gunstar Heroes. And I would go over there all the time, and we would just play through the game over and over. He'd come over to my house, we'd play it some more. We just loved it, it was crazy. Treasure basically said, let's make a run and gun game. Take every awesome idea we can come up with, and just mash it all in there. And you know what? It worked perfectly. Everything about this game is awesome. It's got great music by Norio Hanzawa who also did the music for Mischief Makers, and he also did the music for one of the most popular arcade games of all time, The Simpsons Game. So, that's all the background you need. Let's get started. Alright, Gunstar Heroes. Those uh, opening videos may not have explained everything, so I'll take a, a quick crack at it. Um, basically, the story is there's a uh, an evil empire or something, and they are trying to get these four special gems so that they can awaken some ancient evil power or something. Destroy the world, that sort of stuff. Uh, so we're going to stop them. Uh, so we're going to play here on normal, and let's see. Jump right in. There we go. Okay, so the first thing you need to know about this is that everyone is named after a color, uh, which I think is pretty cool because it kind of gives everyone a little bit of flavor right away. So our two main characters are named red and blue. That's the color they wear. Um, down there, we've got yellow on the right. And then the guy on the left, I don't remember what his name is. I'm going to guess it's Professor White. That seems like it would be right. I'm not sure, though. Uh, so first of all, like I mentioned, this is a run and gun, so we gotta make some choices before we start. We can be free shot or fixed shot, and that basically means, you know, free shot is while you're firing your weapon, you can still move around. Fixed shot, once you start firing, you hold still. So we're gonna do free, that's what I usually do. And then there's four weapons in this game, you can pick which one you want to start with. Uh, so we've got, I think it's called force, which is like big bullets. We've got lightning, which is like shooting a laser. Chaser fires little things that uh, home in on enemies. And then you've got fire, which is like a flamethrower. Uh, so let's start with force, uh, but I'll try and show you all of them as we go. Okay. 
Now, to begin with, there are four levels we can play, and you can play them in any order, which I always thought was really cool when I was young. Uh, we're going to just play through them left to right here, but if you want, you can do them in a different order. You can see the, the bosses that we're going to be taking on, uh, and then a little picture of the stage, so looks really cool. So let's start with the first one. The Ancient Ruins. Pink's mining machine dug up a gem. So we're going to go stop Pink, get the gem that she got. There we go. All right, so let me just reacquaint myself here. The Genesis had three buttons. One of them was just to switch weapons around. Uh, but our main things are we can fire our gun. Here's the force weapon that we picked. And since I'm free shot, we can move all around while shooting. And then we can jump. Uh, if I jump in the air, we'll do like this diving attack. You can do a down jump to do a sliding kick. And then there's this move that I, I only learned how to do recently, but you do a, uh, a half circle forward and then shoot. And it does this like slide. It does a lot of damage, um, but I, I never knew how to do it until like a month ago. So anyway, let's begin. We're gonna run into a bunch of empire minions. They're trashing the place. I mean, I'm kind of trashing the place now too, but <laughs> that's okay. I'm the hero here. Everything explodes. Those orange birds will drop more weapons. Shoot these guys. Look, he's flamethrowering that house. The little guys are jumping out of it. So, you know, as a kid, this game was so awesome. Everything blows up. It's so chaotic. Let's see. We can throw guys if we get up close. And then let's pick up another force here. Even though we already have one, we can pick up a second one. And now we have bigger bullets. Here we go. Here's a little tough guy we got to beat up. They're called like phantoms, I think. Boom. Pick up some health. And then we come to our first mini boss. Papaya dance. There we go. So, boss health is up there. Just that number that counts down. And we'll just try and knock it out here. <laughs> it's so good. Alright, another bird. Draw me some weapons. Now... One of the cool things about this game, besides everything else, is that you can mix and match the weapons. So right now we have two forces, but we can change that up. I can do a force and a chaser. And now we have bullets that will home in on enemies. You can see that my uh, fire changes direction to hit guys. Ah! We can do two chasers. And it does these faster star chasing bullets. So that's easy to use. And then, let me see here. We got laser with force. Ah! I know, I'm wasting so much time here. I'm getting hit a bunch. Which does kind of a, a faster laser than just having a normal one. And then if we do laser and chaser, that does this laser lightning, I guess, that uh, runs around and blows everybody up. This is what I always used when I was a kid. Because you don't have to aim at all. It just goes right to the enemies wherever they are. That's pretty easy. Oh, I'm taking a lot of damage. And that guy, there we go. All right, let's stop talking. Let's start killing. Got to climb this big pyramid of boxes. The problem with lightning chasers is that sometimes it locks onto things that can't be killed, like the birds uh, or boxes and stuff. And you have to shoot again, or it'll it'll just stay on it forever. All right, top of the mountain, and another mini boss. It's Bravo Man. Here he is. Some sort of robot made out of boxes. Lightning chaser makes quick work of him, and then we'll slide down. 
These levels are so cool. It's just so crazy. Now there's enemies, like, tumbling down the mountain, which we're just going to blow up real easy. Ow. It's just such ridiculous action. And you don't find anything quite so silly anywhere else. Except for Mischief Makers, which they also made, and is also very silly. But that's why it's good. Alright, got some more weapons. Nothing too new. We can do double lightning. Which is just kind of like normal lightning. Let's do... Let's do this for a bit. And we've got a giant robot claw trying to attack us. And some beehives. What could be behind that claw? Let's get uh, some health. Need some. What is that claw? It's our first boss. It's Pinky Rotor. There's Pink. She's got a gem. And she's got some goons. So we gotta hit the main body while that guy tries to shoot us. So, uh, do some flying tackles and stuff. That does good damage. Oh, jeez. Here it comes. Got right under it. Get out of here, Pink. And we got our first gem. Alright, so you can see we got the blue gem up there. We got three more levels to do. There is more after that. Let's go ahead and do one more here today. Um, I forgot to mention at the beginning, but uh, you might have seen that there's a two-player thing here. You can play this whole game in co-op, which is super fun. Uh, which I guess makes sense earlier. I said I played with my friend all the time. But a great co-op game. Super chaotic. Um, and, oh... You might be saying, well, I don't have a Genesis. How am I going to play this game? You can get this game on Steam for $1, which is, that's the version I'm playing right now. What a steal. It's one of my favorite games in my entire life. And you can get it for $1. I highly recommend it. Let's go ahead and do the second level here. Use my special modified mining cart. Be aggressive. Going down into the mine. When I was young, this was always my favorite level. You're on this mine cart. The whole level's in this mine. You got guys coming in on the ceiling and on the floor. And you can switch to the ceiling. It's just super fun. And the, uh, the music's really good in here, too. Ah! The bombs! Let's get some fire. All right, I got force and flame going on here, and that gives us exploding shots. Get up. We got trains going on down here in this mine. And then let's switch. A little hard to hit with this weapon. Ah! Got into a bad spot. Those guys are asleep. Too bad. They'll never wake up. Why didn't I pick that up? It didn't work. Kind of needed that. 
That's all right. Now we got double fire. It's just like the single fire weapon, but it's longer. This will be a little easier to hit with. Take out this train. This level actually uh, doesn't have any mini bosses, which I didn't realize until just this second. Most of the levels have a couple, or at least one. Uh, but this one, this train is kind of the only mini boss, and it's on fire. That guy. You saw him in the opening cutscene. He's like the second in command of the Empire. Doesn't seem to be doing too well. And then he just starts throwing his own guys out of the train to hit me. He's uh not very nice. Alright, we'll see you later. Here we go. Boss is approaching. It's seven force. And just like the name implies, it's got a lot of forces. Now, we're playing on normal, so even though there are seven forces, we're only going to fight five of them. Which five, though, I'm not sure. We'll have to find out. I also like how every boss has moves that they named, which just makes them cooler. All right. Ooh. So seven force is this machine that Green has that can transform into a bunch of different things. This is the soldier force. Ah! Uh, I gotta try to not die. Too busy talking. And getting hit a bunch. Crap. <laughs> ah. That's one. Eagle Force. I do kind of wish I had a weapon that was easier to hit with. Shoot me down here. Now you can see where fixed shot might come in handy, because if I could fire without moving, I could probably hit him more. But since I have to aim down, I uh, move around as well. Just wiggle up a little bit. Come on. Upside down. There we go. What's next? It's crab. Crab force. What? How did that hit me? I am so low. Okay. I don't remember what this is called. Tail Force? It's not good. Ugh, I'm gonna die. Ah! I'm so low, there's no way to heal. Ah! There we go. Oh, I'm still alive. Somehow. Thought I lost. It's still likely. Come on. Ah! That's stupid. I jumped right into him. I thought he was gonna... I panicked. 
All right, we respawned. I picked up Force and Chaser. This should be a little easier to hit with, I think. I don't have to aim quite as much. So yeah, some weapons are definitely harder. Whoops, harder to use than others. We'll get him this time. I lost all my points. Not that I need him for anything, but this is what urchin force. Yeah, you know, when we were playing Sonic, like, the Robotnik bosses are pretty cool. He's always coming out with these different machines. But, like, Treasure is on another level when it comes to, you know, multi-part robots and transforming bosses and stuff. Like, they just can't be beat. Mischief Makers has amazing bosses. Oh, jeez, Gun Force! <laughs> Can you guess what this is modeled after? Ah! Spins around and shoots us in the face. Oh, jeez. All right, reload. There he goes. There's Eagle again. This is the fourth one, right? We have one more after this. Slip on down there. So yeah, if you're playing this for the first time or if you're new, using a chaser weapon is definitely helpful because it cuts down on the aiming you have to do. You can worry a little more about not getting hit. What do we got? Tiger Force. Ah! Get away from me. Is that it? That's it. Two gems for us. Okay, we're going to take a break. Be back next time, and we will tackle these two levels left and uh, maybe what lies beyond. I'm not sure. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Let me know what you thought. Remember, you can get this game for $1. It's great fun. Uh, but I'll see you guys soon. We'll do the rest. See ya. See ya.